and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got the NFL 100 drops. As you guys know, the server sucked ass yesterday. We could not get on Madden at all. It was horrible. But on the bright side, they delayed the NFL 100s for me, at least, because I wasn't home. But sucks for everyone else because everyone was so ready for the NFL 100 drops. I did just post the video, which kind of sucks. I hope that video doesn't get killed now. I did not anticipate this would be out anytime soon. And of course, it is at 11.38. For the first time, EA actually got their stuff together. About 24 hours later, great guys, this is the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do to enter, go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And when you hear the secret word, comment that down below and comment your system. Once you do all those things, you are to win the giveaway. So let's get back to the video. The servers are back alive. So the NFL 100s did drop. Typically, they bracketed with some at Friday night and some on Saturday morning. But they are putting them all together for this because the servers were down last night. So we should be getting all seven drops as of now. As you guys know, it is the tight end and lineman. So I believe the pack should be in store right about now. Let's go check that out. I have been tempted to open up this bundle. I'm not going to lie, guys. This bundle is an amazing value. It is a guaranteed topper with one player from this week and eight NFL fantasy packs. So one, one topper is guaranteed like 600K. Pretty much guaranteed. I mean, lineman maybe don't go for as much. I don't really know. But typically, it's a guaranteed 600K from the topper. And I'd say a guaranteed 300k from the from the fantasy. And that's like bad pulls. Now, remember a week ago, you pulled Dion Lott or one of those guys early on. You could have sold him for like 800k. And then the packs again, you pulled another full one out of there. You could get over a million coins. I think these are one of the best bundles in Madden right now. And it only cost, it cost $100. But to be honest with you guys, a million coins for $100 is a pretty good, pretty good value. So I don't think this is a horrible bundle to open. I would definitely recommend it if you guys plan on opening any packs. It's really not that bad. I've contemplated opening it, which says a lot because I typically don't open packs. But definitely do like this bundle right here. Now, let's go to the solo challenges and see the players that were released. And then we'll obviously go over to the auction block and check everything out. So let's go over to NFL 100 solos and see what we're working with. NFL 100. So we have a week four release two and week four release one. They just released it together. Join us as we celebrate and honor the greatest players in 100 years of NFL history. This week features the following players. Tony Gonzalez. Larry Allen, the White Stevenson. Those are the three that would have dropped last night. And then this morning, Bruce Matthews, Jonathan Ogden, Anthony Munoz. Now, I'm only seeing six. Weren't there? There was four the last two times, right? There was eight last week. So this week, there's only six. All right, well, Bruce Matthews, Ogden, Munoz, really solid names. A lot of upgrades for a lot of guys. And we finally get Tony G. And that Tony G card was looking pretty nasty. So let's go check out the stats on these cards and see what we're working with. Because I'm kind of curious to see all these cards, see their price, and see what's going on, quite honestly. So let's head on over to the auction block. Like I said, I would recommend opening a bundle if you guys do open bundles, right? If, you, if you're a bundle opener, go ahead. I have no, no, no bad negative things to say about this type of bundle. Like I said, even I'm contemplating opening one. Not for this video, but it's definitely been, been a thought. So let's go check out these NFL 100 players, see which ones are up. So let's go over to NFL 100 filter. So let's check out, let's see who's up. Let's go to newest real quick. And see what we're working with. So, Bruce Matthews is up right here. Bruce Matthews, left guard for the Tennessee Titans. Looking pretty big right there. Definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. Because I know his other card is pretty, pretty, was pretty good to be got, begin with. So, see, he's got 91 strength, 93 awareness, 92 pass block, 92 pass block power, 92 pass block finesse, 90, 92 run block, 92, 91 run block power, and 93 run block finesse. So, Strength's great. Everything's above 90. Everything's solid. Powered up in Kendra. This is going to be probably the best left guard in the game. He is a pretty big improvement over his other card. He now has all around run blocking uh, thresholds with all the pass blocking thresholds. He's a pretty great card in general. Definitely do like this Bruce Matthews here. Let's go on over to the next card. Well, actually, let's check his lead block and his impact block because that's definitely important. Let's see. Where is it? Impact block 92. And where's his lead block? Lead block's probably pretty high. Lead block is a 92. So he's solid all the way around. Dwight Stevenson, center card. Let's compare him to my Travis Frederick real quick. So, he's got 91 strength, 92 awareness, 94 pass block, 91 pass block power, 92 pass block finesse, 90 run block, 89 run block power, 91 run block finesse. So, run block is pretty good, decent. Pass blocking is pretty good. So, compared to my Travis Frederick, honestly, the run blocking is a bigger, much bigger improvement. Compared to the pass block, I think that his run blocking is better than his pass blocking, or at least the same. And then again, pass blocking versus run blocking. Dwight Stevenson's slightly better, but for the price-wise and the ability to get him, I think I kind of like Travis Frederick a little bit more. He's definitely going to be a lot cheaper, and the difference isn't exactly monumental here. Impact blocking 92 is better on Frederick. And let's see. 
the lead block 90 80 so he actually better at impact than lead i think i like frederick a little bit more price wise and he is a little overall too if you power up dwight stevenson he's going to be better than him overall but at this current overall for his being one overall less he's actually a pretty good comparison now let's get over to tony gonzalez as you can see him right here 87 speed 74 strength 94 catching 93 catch and traffic 92 spec catch 92 short route running 91 medium route running and 66 run block the run blocking sucks but guys we kind of got this is like if evan ingram was a wide receiver too this is kind of like what we were looking at last time let's compare him to kittle he's faster than kittle so that's a plus wow he's faster than kittle better catching than kittle way better catching traffic than kittle way better spec catch than kittle way better route running than kittle so pretty much Tony Gonzalez finally brings to Madden what we've been waiting for. That is a wide receiver at tight end. He's got the speed. The secret word is Christmas tree. All you gotta do is comment down below Christmas tree, your console, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. The height, the catching, the route running. He's going to be a force at tight end. I'm telling you guys, you guys run those out routes with tight ends. Kittle does them okay because he's like really slow when he cuts. But Gonzalez, Gonzalez is gonna be pretty nasty at tight end. He's gonna be really, really good. Let's see what his underlying stats are 88 Excel. Let's see, carrying, he's got a 90 carrying. That's actually really good. It's surprising he has actual carrying stats. 93 jumping, no trucking, no stiff arm, no juke, no spin really. 83 juke, I guess, is decent. Nothing too special there. Overall, this card nasty. I'm kind of I kind of want to pick up this Tony Gonzalez. It's gonna be really, really good at tight end. I've always been big at use, I've always been big on using my tight end. Although this year, they're more run blockers for me. Now let's update this to see if we can find some of the newer cards. Let's see, we got Jonathan Ogden right there. So Jonathan Ogden, 94 overall right tackle, 95 strength, 89 awareness, that's solid. 93 pass block, 93 pass block power, 89 pass block finesse, 93 run block, 93 run block power, 90 run block finesse. Now this sucks, right? I just picked up Lane Johnson, but I cannot afford to be buying every one of these cards. I really got to pick and choose NFL 100 cards I do want. He has better strength than Johnson, worse awareness, way better pass block, way better pass block. Uh, what's that second one? Way better pass block power, same run block finesse, way better run block way better run block power and decently better run block finesse so similar cards in some aspects but jonathan ogden is just an upgrade over everything he's definitely a way way better card now let's see i mean when it comes to right tackle i don't always care about the impact of the lead block but it's still good to check let's see what we're working with 94 impact blocking that's really solid and then his lead block is a 86 okay this card's still really really good i definitely like the jonathan ogden card this sucks there's so many good cards that are coming out i barely have enough coins to even afford one of them definitely is one of the limitations of them dropping so many cards that are gonna be so high priced now let's see what else do we have we had a few more cards that should have come out right now so let's go check them out i believe one of them was let's see we got a left tackle oh munoz 94 anthony munoz he's got 91 strength 91 awareness 94 pass block 92 pass block power 92 pass block finesse 92 run block 91 run block power and 92 run block finesse all around great card against compared to my actual my regular base legend munoz Way better strength, big awareness upgrade, big pass block upgrade, big pass block power upgrade, big pass block finesse upgrade, plus four, plus five, and then plus four. He is a massive upgrade over this other Anthony Munoz. Now let's check out his other stats. His acceleration is an 80 and his speed is 73. It's actually really solid. I did not take him for an athletic guy. His impact blocking is a 90. And his lead block, which I don't exactly care about again, too much with the way I play, is a 90. So really solid all around stats. Guys, these linemen, I'm telling you, if you get all these linemen right here, you're going to be pushing piles for your NFL 100 running backs. I'm telling you right now, going to be really crazy what these guys can do. We got Tony Gonzalez right. So let's see, we got Gonzalez, Munoz, Ogden, Stevenson. Who are we missing right now? Oh, Larry Allen. Larry Allen, 95 strength, 89 awareness. Let's compare him to David DeCastro right here. He's got 95 strength, 89 awareness, 91 pass block, 92 pass block power, 90 pass block finesse, 94 run block, 94 run block power, and 91 run block finesse. Oh yeah, he blows he blows away David DeCastro, all right. Better strength, better awareness, better pass block, better pass. The pass blocking is really similar, but the run blocking is where he really kills him. Guys, powered up and chemed up, these cards are all going to be high 90 blocking stats. They're not going to let guys through. They're really going to be able to counteract these, but I mean, then again, they're just counteracting all the new the new cards that were just introduced 93 impact blocking and i imagine his lead blocking is probably like a 96. definitely gonna be really high. i'm pretty sure larry allen's a really good lead. 89 really i thought that would definitely definitely be a little bit higher let's go make sure we got everyone here i'm pretty sure we wrapped up just about everyone there we got munoz stevenson matthews larry allen jonathan ogden anthony wait right munoz stevenson matthews larry allen gonzalez ogden that's five where's number six 
Let's go back to make sure we just got everyone. I don't want to miss anyone here. There was six of them total. I think we did hit on everyone though, but always got to check just to make sure. NFL 100. Let's go over to the solos real quick. And what are we working with? Look at everyone. Larry Allen, Tony Gonzalez, Dwight Stevenson, Bruce Matthews, Jonathan Ogden, Anthony Miss. We covered everyone, guys. That is about it for the video. Glad we got through all that. Hopefully, I can have this video for you guys up by like 12, 12, 10-ish. Hopefully, soon enough, considering the service down. You guys definitely need some content to watch. But guys, that's about it for the video. Make sure to enter the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, comment down below your console and your gamer tag, and make sure to go down below and subscribe to the channel. Wish you all the to win. Good luck. I'm out to get